welcome to our today's lesson we are still going through chemistry under the question from structure and bonding the question we have reads aluminium reacts with chlorine to form aluminium chloride using dots and across diagrams to represent electrons draw a diagram to show bonding in the compound formed when aluminium chloride combines with ammonia we begin by writing the formula of ammonium chloride aluminium chloride sorry and also the formula of ammonia in this case we are going to have we are going to we are going to start with aluminium aluminium is going to bond with three chloride atoms and therefore we are going to represent them here we have chlorine here chlorine here we have chlorine here then of course aluminium chloride is going to react with ammonia so we have ammonia which contains nitrogen and hydrogen so we are going to have nitrogen bonding with three hydrogen atoms we are going to put them here so this is hydrogen 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 remember aluminium is in atomic number 13 with 283 Chlorine is in atomic number 17 with 287. Remember, during structure and bonding, we use valence electrons. Remember, chlorine requires one electron in order to be stable. And therefore, it is going to contribute. Out of seven, it's going to contribute one. So, chlorine will donate one electron. And of course aluminium will bring one here then the remaining six for chlorine will be put here so that chlorine is satisfied with eight then the other chlorine has seven so one comes here aluminium donates one here and in this case the remaining six for this chloride atom will also be placed here then we come to this other chlorine it has seven which it's going to use for bonding one will come here then aluminium will donate one electron and therefore by so doing so for aluminium chloride we are already done we go to ammonia remember nitrogen is an atomic number seven with two five so we are going to use five and of course hydrogen has one so this hydrogen has one this one has one this has one and therefore out of five nitrogen is going to donate one here another one here another one here so that we have three already used the two unshared pair of electrons will come here and that makes aluminium fully satisfied with eight nitrogen fully satisfied with eight hydrogen fully satisfied with two across and of course chlorine has eight that is how bonding occurs when aluminium chloride combines with ammonia we move down to other questions we go to part b of the same question paper the table below shows oxides of elements in period 3 of the periodic table. Study it and answer the questions that follow. We have the oxide of sodium, magnesium, all the way to chlorine. Then we have the melting points in degrees Celsius, all the way from sodium oxide to chlorine. Roman 1, explain in terms of structure and bonding. The differences in the melting point of sodium 
oxide and magnesium oxide. When we explain this in terms of structure and bonding, remember magnesium is in atomic number 12 with an electron arrangement of 2H2, sodium in atomic number 11 with 2H1. Remember this one will donate two electrons in bond formation. This one will donate one and therefore magnesium will form stronger bonds with oxygen as compared to sodium. And therefore you can say magnesium ions has a smaller has a smaller ionic radius than than sodium ions. What does that one mean? Therefore, therefore, it forms, therefore, magnesium ions forms stronger ionic bonding with from oxygen we are going to have an oxide of or an ion of oxygen with two negative two than sodium ions roman two of uh, the same question explain why molten aluminium oxide conducts electricity Remember, aluminium oxide is an ionic compound and in molten form it contains mobile ions responsible for electrical conductivity. And therefore we can say molten aluminium oxide has mobile, also known as free ions, which are responsible for electrical conductivity. Next, give one use of magnesium oxide. This one is used in the manufacture. Used in the manufacture used in the manufacture of anti-acid tablets this one can also be used as the lining of furnaces lining of furnaces thank you for watching and welcome to our discussions and in case you are watching this channel for the first time, please take a second or two and click the subscribe button so that anytime we produce a video like this, you will automatically be given a notification.